Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we shall be taking an important question related to compound interest. So let's start with the question. Mahesh borrowed a certain sum for two years at simple interest from Bhim. Mahesh lent this sum to Vishnu at the same rate for two years compound interest. At the end of two years, Mahesh received rupees 410 as compound interest but paid rupees 400 as simple interest. Find the sum and the rate of interest. So this is the question. This is very important question which involves both the simple interest as well as compound interest. Now let me first discuss the two cases which are involved in this question. In the first case, Mahesh borrows from Bhim at simple interest. In the second case, Mahesh lends to Vishnu at compound interest. Time period is 2 years and the rate of interest is same in both the cases. Now when Mahesh is borrowing, he will pay rupees 400 as simple interest. And when Mahesh lends to Vishnu, he receives rupees 410 as compound interest from Vishnu. Now let me explain with the help of a chart. Over here, you can see Mahesh is borrowing from Bhim at simple interest, whereas Mahesh is lending to Vishnu at compound interest. So when he is borrowing at simple interest, he will pay rupees 400 to Bhim. And when he is lending to Vishnu, he will receive rupees 410 as compound interest. So again, time period is 2 years and rate of interest is same in both the cases. Now let's start with the solution. In the first case, Mahesh borrows from Bhim at simple interest and pays rupees 400 for 2 years. Now simple interest formula is SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where SI stands for interest, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest and T is the time period. Now further we shall put the values in this formula. So interest is 400 which is equal to P principal that we have to find. Again rate of interest we have to find and time period is 2. So we shall write P into R into 2 upon 100. Now further we shall cross multiply and write PR is equal to 400 into 100 upon 2 which is equal to rupees 20,000. So therefore we can say principal into rate of interest is rupees 20,000. So this is our first equation from case 1. Now we shall solve second case where Mahesh lends to Vishnu at compound interest and receives rupees 410 for 2 years at the same rate of interest. Now we shall use the formula of compound interest that is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power n minus 1. Now further compound interest is 410. So we shall write 410 is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100. Time period is 2 years. So whole raised to power 2 minus 1. Now to solve the bracket we shall be using identity 1 that is a plus b whole square is equal to a square plus 2ab plus b square. So accordingly we will expand the bracket. So we shall write 410 is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r square upon 10,000 plus 2 into r by 100 minus 1. Now further 1 and minus 1 will stand cancel and we can take r by 100 common outside. So we shall write 410 is equal to P into R by 100 in bracket R by 100 plus 2. Now further we can write it 410 is equal to PR upon 100 because P into R by 100 is PR upon 100 in bracket R upon 100 plus 2. Now if you remember from case 1 we had the first equation. PR is equal to rupees 20,000. So we shall put this value of 20,000 in place of PR and write 410 is equal to 20,000 upon 100 in bracket R upon 100 plus 2. 
Now further 0 0 will get cancel and we will get 410 is equal to 200 in bracket R upon 100 plus 2. Now further we shall cross multiply and write 410 upon 200 is equal to R upon 100 plus 2. Now we can take 2 on the other side and write 410 upon 200 minus 2 is equal to R upon 100. Now take LCM. So 410 minus 400 upon 200 is equal to R by 100. 410 minus 400 is 10. So 10 upon 200 is equal to R upon 100. Further cross multiply and write R is equal to 10 into 100 upon 200 is equal to 5% per annum. So rate of interest is coming 5% per annum. Now according to the first equation we had PR is equal to rupees 20,000. So further we can put the value of rate of interest 5% in this equation and find the principal. So we can write P into 5 is equal to 20,000. So P is equal to 20,000 divided by 5 which is equal to 4,000. So P that is our principal is rupees 4,000. So in this question, we have calculated the rate of interest as 5% and principal as 4000. So hope you have understood this question. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.